Do you have six inch stabilizer feet on your towable? You do? Well, you need to install a set of Snap Pad Extra Sixes on your feet. Hi, I'm Steve Turtle and I'm a work camper. Stick around, we're installing a brand new product. Snap on a set of these square sixes and eliminate your leveling hassles permanently. If you're a return visitor, welcome back. If this is your first time here, you should subscribe. And ring that bell. If you ring the bell, you get a notification every time I post a new story. You don't want to miss one. Today, I'm installing a set of Snap Pad Extra Square Sixes. First ever made for towable campers. And this is part two of a three-part series. Part one was the unboxing, where I talked about the price, features, pros and cons, and a conclusion. Now, if you missed the unboxing and you'd like to go back and check it out, I'll leave a link right up there. Then in part three, I'm gonna give a review. After they've been installed for a while and I've had a chance to determine whether or not they performed as advertised, I'll give my opinion. Opinion, that's right. I'm gonna let you know what I think about the Snap Pad Extra Square Sixes. Price, the regular price for a set of four is about $99. Why should you buy? No alignment needed. No more running over to the other side of the travel trailer and adjusting those stabilizer blocks. No more stabilizer blocks. Once your snap pads are installed, press the button and you are done. Or turn the little crank if you have to. Wait, before you buy, before you click on that link, first, you gotta watch this video all the way through. And second, before you start, we gotta measure. We gotta measure your jack feet, your stabilizer jack feet. It is critical that you install the correct snap pad on the proper stabilizer jack feet. Make sure you measure your stabilizer jack feet properly. If your jack feet are too small, the snap pad may fall off. If your jack feet are too large, you may crush the snap pad, making it unserviceable. There are no real standards across the RV industry for stabilizer jack feet. They are not all created equal. So you wanna measure the stabilizer jack feet like this. Measure the outside dimensions. Then check out the website. Click on compatibility, where they list the most common compatible brands. Wait, one more thing. Before you install your snap pads, here are some helpful hints and tricks. Snap pad recommends that you double protect your stabilizer jack feet with a rubberized protectant, like Flex Seal. I did not do this. Installation is a lot easier in warmer weather, say 50 degrees or above and grab a helper. It's faster, safer, and more efficient with two people. Use your phone or another person to relay the information from the installer to the person working the controls. Install each snap pad individually and visually confirm that the reinforced lip has engaged the complete diameter. <laughs> okay, I've babbled long enough. Let's get to the installation. Snap pad installation should be performed on level or near level surface preferably a hard surface like asphalt or concrete. You should have chalk blocks in front and behind the wheels of your travel trailer for additional safety. I'm going to use a paver underneath and my x chops will keep my travel trailer from rolling away. Be sure to thoroughly clean and dry your stabilizer jack feet prior to installing your brand new snap pads. Spread a small bead of concentrated dish soap around the lip of the snap pad and on the metal of your stabilizer jack feet to help in installation. Do not use a petroleum-based lubricant like WD-40 as it may negatively affect the binder in the snap pad. This is not a commercial for WD-40. WD-40 did not sponsor this video in any way. They did not give me any money, did not show me any love. However, if you feel bad about that and you'd like to help out, hit the subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. As travel trailer stabilizer motors are not strong, they recommend that you use a manual hand crank in order to install your snap pads. And be careful not to put too much pressure on the stabilizers. It could cause the camper to lift or actually bend the stabilizer arms. Extend the jacks until they're about two inches away from your snap pad. Then align the snap pad and the jack feet so that the alignment is just right. Keep your fingers and any foreign object clear when lowering the jack feet into place. And that's important. You don't want to lose a finger 
or a foreign object, carefully place and center your snap pad under the stabilizer jack feet and then continue to lower the stabilizer jack feet until it touches your snap pads. If you feel the stabilizer jack foot is not centered on the snap pads, retract the landing gear enough to recenter the snap pads and proceed with extending the stabilizer jack foot to complete the snap pad insulation. Do not put the full weight of your travel trailer on your stabilizer arms. Your stabilizer arms cannot take the full weight of your travel trailer. Now if you're having trouble getting the lip up over the snap pad foot, use a little of the uh, concentrated dish detergent and a screwdriver to lift the lip up and over the top of the snap pad foot. Now as you can see, I didn't have a problem, mine slipped right in. However, if you have a little problem, just use a little soap. All right, now complete the process three more times and your snap pad insulation is complete. Bingo! Now if you're installing your snap pads on a fifth wheel, there are just two additional steps that are different than installing them on a travel trailer. Snap pads must be installed on the front stabilizer jack feet prior to the rear two or four snap pads. Then once the snap pad installation is complete on the front stabilizer jack feet, you can continue, but you have to pull the truck away prior to installing the rear two or four snap pads. Here's a couple pros. Standing water, no problem. Built-in drainage channels. Bolt access, remove the jack pad with the snap pad attached. It's a permanent installation. Put them on and leave them on. Cons, I have none at this time. I have no concerns, except for the instructions. Yeah, maybe the instructions. I think the helpful hints and tips in the instructions should be prior to the installation. Other than that, I have none at this time. Now with all that said, go ahead and snap on a set of these extra square sixes and eliminate all your leveling hassles permanently. If you want to purchase a set of these extra square six snap pads, I'll leave a link down below in the description area. However, they are not available at this time. The manufacturer is finishing their production run and snap pad is stocking their stores. I'll give you an update in part three the review or go on over to their website and get on their email waiting list and they'll let you know when they're available. If you have installed some type of snap pad on your travel trailer, fifth wheel or motorhome, leave us a comment down below in the comment section. Let us know what do you have, how do you like them and were they worth it. And best of luck in your future RV upgrades. Well that's my story for the week. I hope you enjoyed this story or this installation of snap pads if you did click like down below and smash that subscribe button if you'd like to hear more stories like this one new stories every week on wednesday and a live stream on friday and ring that bell if you ring the bell you get a notification every time i post a new story because you don't want to miss one until later thanks for your time and i mean that sincerely i do appreciate your time bye i'm holding my glasses i can't wave my other hand bye Bye. <laughs>